Hello and welcome to introduction to electrodynamics. We are going to discuss triple products and we have two types of triple products. The one is scalar triple product. So scalar triple product is between any three vector we have a vector dotted with cross product of two other vectors and it can be any three vectors and any combination of A, B, C. Uh, what geometrically this means? In fact, uh, geometrically, as we know about B cross C is the area of the parallelogram generated by this is B cross C generated by B and C. So vector B and C. Uh, we are talking about magnitude. So if we have the area of parallelogram dotted with vector A, uh, so that means we are taking the projection of vector A projection of A on B cross C and in fact it represent a dot b cross c is is the volume of the parallelopipe uh, whose base is formed with b and c Um, similarly, we can define um, all three alternative like A dot B cross C and it is again if we are talking about volume, so it is equal to C cross A is equal to C dot A cross B. Um, we have to keep uh, track of order. Uh, you can see A dot B cross C is equal to B dot C cross A. If we are going to take A cross C, then there will come a negative sign. And same goes here B dot A cross B. If we are going to reverse the order, then there will be a negative sign. We can write uh, this in term of components form or and components form can be expressed in term of a determinant that A dot B cross C is equal to AX a y a z b x b y b z c x c y c z 
So this is another way to express the scalar triple, scalar triple product. So there is another we can as we stated that we can cross product of a dot b cross c or a cross b into c or um, the one we are using already a dot b cross c but how about this a dot b cross with c so this is a number scalar scalar number crossed with a vector so it has no meanings so scalar number uh, cross with a vector quantity doesn't does not make any sense so the first type of triple product was scalar triple product now we have the second type of uh, triple product and that is vector triple product so vector triple product is a cross b cross c and it can be simplified using the back cap rule so back cap rule is b a dot c minus c and um, the order of a cross b cross c if you want to change it like a, a c cross a cross b then it uh, there would come a negative sign because again changing the order of the cross product will uh, bring a negative sign so um, the other type of vector products or uh, you can call the fourth uh, product is a cross b this is a vector dotted with c cross d again vector so it will become a scalar number and it can be expressed a dot c into b dot d minus a dot d into b dot c so still this is a a scalar number so another option for four vector can be all are going through the cross product b cross c cross d so again, this can be expressed using the back cap rule. So here the back cap rule will be different. So B A dot, we have to consider C cross D as one element or a one vector. And then you can see that C cross D 
into a dot. So in this we consider C cross D say is another vector P e, and you can simplify this A cross B cross E using the back cab rule which will become E back cab rule B A C so we have to bring B A C minus E A dot B. So we have to put E back and we will reach here. So this is the simplified form for four vectors. So uh, we have this much for triple products and we will continue with the next section in next lecture. Bye. See you in next lecture.